Now look, regular surfer online tennis instruction. Today I'm going to talk to you about developing a nice clean release on your serve toss. A lot of players struggle with the ball toss, which then negatively affects their serve because they're then left having to find the ball with their swing, which is less than ideal. Now a lot of times the problems come from how they start holding the ball and how they release the ball. But before we get started on that, just to go through a few basics, you know, when you work on uh, your serve toss, you want to try to keep a straight arm where you will, will lift from the shoulder and then you want to have a nice smooth rhythm when you, and then after you release the ball, you want your arm to continue to go up. So it should be a nice smooth rhythm with a straight tossing arm. Now let's talk about developing a clean release. And you know, common problems I see, players start with the palm all the way open like this. Now the problem with this is it's very easy for you to engage your wrist and your elbow joint. So a lot of times players toss with this bent arm and they end up hooking the ball and it goes all the way left and behind them. So to eliminate that, what you want to do is turn your hand this way. Now the more you turn your hand over here, the, the, the less you're able to engage these two joints. So you know, often we recommend holding the ball like a glass of water. So if it's holding the glass, the glass would be all the way up this way. Some players do struggle with that. So I find that if, if you have an intermediary um, position where the, the palms are up, but it's t slightly turned. So if I was holding the glass of the water, it would be angled slightly this way. And sometimes that's enough to eliminate that extra movement there. All right? So that's the first thing about the, the hand position. Now the other issue I see, sometimes people really palm the ball. They hold the ball like this in their palm, or they even do this. What happens is it, it tends to lead to the ball really spinning off their hand and they lose control that way. Some players hold it with this in their fingertips, which sometimes can also be difficult to control. So what I recommend you do is if you look at your, your fingers here, you've got your first knuckle, your second knuckle. Try to hold the ball into the second knuckle with your thumb over here in a position where the ball's not quite in your palm. So it's away from your palm and your fingers. So I'm holding the ball like this, this way. Now, what you want to do is once you get that position, I'm holding more like a glass of water, your hand, arm would be straight in front of you and you want to work on a nice clean release. So I want to open my hand so the ball drops and it's not rotating. So watch it again. And I want to do this over and over. You want to avoid getting the fingers involved where the ball spins and there's like a, what we call like a, it's not, not a clean release. Right? So avoid that, just open the hand. So work on that first. And once you have success with that, then you want to start to engage the full toss. So you, again, you want to have a straight arm and just have a nice smooth rhythm all the way up. And you want to work on opening the hand and releasing the ball around about eye level. So I've got my uh, starting position here. My palm's not up. And what I'm going to do is just open the fingers and try to make sure when I release the ball that the ball's barely rotating. I'm going to keep this tossing arm up. And you just want to keep doing this over and over, working on a nice clean release and trying to avoid any excess ball rotation.